Hello guys, once again it's Matt, and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. As you know, the winter event started and a lot of people start to ask questions. How or what is the bad or the better way, the best way of actually doing the event? What is the quickest way normally? Because especially if the person is actually trying to get the tank and the aircraft, uh, the Mirage and the Vilka, Vilkas, I think it's called. Um, I mean, it's a kind of a short time frame, especially at this time of the year. Of course, we are in the Christmas time of the year, right? So you want to stay with your family, you want to do other things, and you kind of have this job of doing the event every day, right? And Although I think it's a great thing to have these events, they do take a little bit of time or a lot of time to actually do, right? So that means that um, people try to find ways to be uh, the fastest possible to actually do the event, right? So these are my two opinions on how to do the event on the quickest way. The first thing is that there is an obvious way of doing that. Well, is actually just putting the max amount of multipliers that you can on the amount of points that you get. So the objective is to get 40,000 mission points, right? The score inside the game. Um, you do have multipliers for that depending on the gameplay uh, mode that you are and also the rank that you are playing. So for, for example, if you get a rank 7 vehicle, you will get more points than a rank 3 vehicle, for example, because the rank 7 has a larger multiplier. So you will get the, the score that you do in the match and multiply by the multiplier that he has for that rank. And that goes for the arcade, realistic and simulator as, be, uh, as well. The higher or the more difficult the mode is, so if it's realistic or simulator, the higher the, the skill, the higher the skill that you need on that those modes, the more you get in those modes as well. Which means that in simulator, for example, you get more points uh, each point that you do uh, than in realistic or arcade. Um, so of course, I think the quickest way uh, is to actually find a vehicle that you want um, to be good at, but also um, in a way with a very good multiplier so we, it would be kind of a balance of trying to figure out um, a, a balance between having a very good vehicle that you are good in together with a vehicle that has the highest multiplier so an example is for example uh, jets I love jets I love playing jets I prefer jets than any prop but Let's say, for example, I'm really bad at doing uh, jets. I never got the hang of it. I don't like air-to-air -air missiles, so I don't really play. Uh, although I like the jets and I'm trying to learn j the jets, I have a, feel a more complete feeling on how to actually get kills with a prop. I get way more kills in a prop. So the efficiency that you get on the multiplier of actually using a higher rank that is a jet is decreased by your efficiency of getting kills so your skill is better for props for example so even though the multiplier is lower you get more points because you do more in the match so you have to find your personal balance between the two okay so this would be the first kind of tip for you to get the most amount of points try to find the balance for me personally i play much better in a jet than in a prop so it's the good with the perfect right uh, it joins um, both the the best options ever right because I have the better multiplier and I play better in a jet so I will try to play with an SU-27 for example that I love or a MiG-29 and an aircraft that I get a lot of kills that's another little point there uh, if you are trying to be as fast as possible not only try to find just a prop or uh, a general idea of a vehicle that you like to play the most or a tank or whatever uh, try to play with the specific vehicle that you play uh, you know with the best skill uh, personal skill that you have so for example I personally love to fly the MiG-29 so I play the MiG-29 better normally than what I play with I don't know an F-16 so that's a personal 
um, way of dealing with the problem, right? I love to play with the MiG-29, so I love to play with jets, so I will try to find a jet at uh, the highest rank that I can. Let's fight on rank 8. Well, where, you know, what is the aircraft that I, you know, have the most skill on and I have the most ability on? Well, the MiG-29 instead of the F-16 or any other aircraft. So I will grab the MiG-29 instead of that and I'll focus on playing with that aircraft so that I can have the most amount of multiplier with a balance of playing very well with a vehicle that I like. Each individual player has its own way of playing, so it means that... Um, it's not that you are bad in a vehicle. Normally, it's because it's a stock grind that you are trying to do, or you don't get a little bit of um, of the way that you need to play with that specific vehicle. There's many factors in it, so try to find a balance on that. And the second way that you can do this, but this would be an efficient way in a general sense of the game, and not an efficient way of trying to get as quickly as possible. What I mean is that if you are grinding for somebody, something, like I am, for example, in this match, try to grind for it while you do the event. So uh, that way you are actually having fun because you are playing with the vehicles that you are getting the bonuses and everything like that. You are progressing through your tree, learning the vehicles and everything like that. But at the same time, you are uh, grinding as well, the event and the vehicle. So everything kind of sums it up to one um, like gameplay that you can do right but there is a factor done to it y it will for sure take more time why because you are getting to vehicles that you don't know very well you are getting to stock vehicles that you need to grind and everything takes more time the efficiency here comes when you are grinding you know uh, so instead of just getting you know, the event um, in, for example, instead of playing with a MiG-29, for example, that I already have fully spaded, uh, and I'm not gonna get anything else from that, only the gameplay um, and, of course, the event, you can always grind some other vehicle. I don't know, the SU-27 that was just released. That way, I can actually grind the SU-27 as well, the whole Russian 3, at the same time as I'm grinding the event. It will take more time, but you are making sure that that time that you are spending is not only being used for the event itself, and you are actually getting more out of it. You are getting more vehicles, you're spading stuff, etc, etc. And these are the two ways that I think are the most efficient ways that you have to be in a line of thinking on the event. It's a long event, guys, but if you get one of these two types, you at least you will get something out of it. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe and bye.